Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Camden and today's video is going to address a very important question that I'm getting from many teachers. So, can you teach English on Palfish and live here in Thailand? So I'm going to cover seven things that you must know or that you need to know about teaching English on Palfish and living in Thailand. So let's start off with first number one, the most important, how much is rent? How much is one month? How much is one year? Well, to be honest with you, my place right now, I got a great deal. On average, it's about 8,000 baht to 12,000 baht for apartment or a condo. Now, how much is 8,000 baht? Well, that's about 243 US dollars. And if you get a place for 12,000 baht, it won't be the five star, but 12,000 baht is a very big upgrade from an 8,000 baht style apartment. So 12,000 baht is about 365 US dollars. So still, even with an amazing place, you're still spending less than $400. For me, I came at the right time, at the right location, and I pay 152 dollars us dollars every month to pay for my rent six thousand by got really lucky so um, when you do move in i don't know about everywhere like in bangkok but i know here in chiang mai you're gonna have to pay for three months rent so make sure that you have enough money saved up before you come so you can pay for those three months you're gonna have to pay for the first month security deposit and then the third is like I don't know how it all works out, but you're not going to be able to move into an apartment unless you pay for those things. For me, it was 18,000 baht to move in, so it was not that expensive. Okay, so the next thing is when you do come to Thailand for the first time, please, please get a residency notification slip. That allows the immigration, that allows the government to know that you're in the country. So when you go do something with your visa, you have that slip, it makes things a lot easier and it protects you here. So make sure you get a residency notification. Okay guys, so that covers up number one. Let's move on to number two is food. All right, so how much does food cost? How much for one day? How much for one week and one month? Well, in Thailand, you're really lucky because food grows here all over the country year around. Now, a lot of people never cook at home and still stay within their budget by eating out every day. I have done that and I get a lot of food when I go out and I probably spend a lot, of, way more money than I should. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually cooking at home, saving money. I love to cook anyway. So an average, you on one day, if you go and eat out, I'm not talking about something fancy with wine and all that stuff, but just to go out, get a full plate of food and fill up, shouldn't cost you any more between 10 and $15 every day, okay? So, for example, if you buy all your groceries, then you could, you could easily spend just about $100 each month on food. A little bit more, a little bit less. I'm just going in the middle, depending on what your food preferences are. Okay, because I get some expensive food. I get imported food, which I'm going to get to in the next, next part here in this video. So for one month overall, you will spend anywhere between 9,000 to 15,000 baht on food. That's if you're eating sometimes at home and also going out. Now, if you do eat out every day, if it's just one person eating out every day, um, still it should be over than 500 baht. Unless you're like me, who eats tons of food when they eat out, and it's going to be a little bit more than 500 baht. Basically, like I said, 10 to $15 a day. So hopefully that covers the rent questions. If you do have any questions on rent, um, on food, just answer, I mean, just ask below. Number three is water. One of the great things about Thailand is that everywhere around the country, there are water refill stations. So please remember that at 7-Eleven, at your apartments. There's literally, you can find them on the street sometimes and it might be 10 baht. So have some extra coins. You can fill up with these huge, huge jugs which you can get at a place called Tesco. I'll have to make a video about that. 
So water is very easy. It's filtered water. It's osmosis filtered and all that good stuff, purified. Now, the next thing is transportation. I started, when I came here, I was using a taxi. And uh, then I used a motorcycle when I was on the island. And then when I came to Chiang Mai, I also used a motorcycle. But I had three accidents in one year. And I'm finished with motorcycles. So my suggestion to you is don't get a motorcycle. It's super dangerous, not only for yourself, but other people can hurt you. You guys know that. But this is Thailand. It's one of the most dangerous places for motorcycle accidents, okay? Keep that in mind. Your life is not worth saving a couple of 50 or or $100 a month, okay? So the next thing I would say for transportation is use Uber. I use Uber every day. It's pain-free. It's hassle-free. They give promotions all the time. The drivers here are pretty cool. Some speak English. Some are okay. But I never have any major issues where my life's in danger or anything like that. It's very convenient. They can come within 5, 10, or 15 minutes usually at the most. And it's not super expensive. Like to go from my home to the main grocery store, it's like $2, you know? So it's really cheap. So um, also Grab. I have not used Grab, so I can't recommend it. But um, a lot of people say it's good in the city of Chiang Mai. I'm sure it's good in the city of Bangkok. The next thing I want to touch on is number five, Maya Mall. Now it's spelled M-A-Y-A, so it's like Maya, which we know. But here, if you say Maya, they're not going to know that. So you have to say Maya, Maya, which is the Maya Mall. There you can find shopping. You, they have great a great food court where you can find all types of food stalls there with everything that you can think of. A lot of foreigners there, a lot of Chinese people there, Thai people there. It's really cool there. <laughs> And also, the, the, one of the main things at the mall is that there's a store called Rimping, which is like the main uh, supermarket or grocery store. I even have a membership card just because um, the more that I shop there, the more points I get, and the more points I get, I'm soon can get a, like a, a free Omega juicer. So I really recommend Rimping. It is a little bit more pricey, you know, but like it's imported food, so it's going to be more expensive. But you can get some things there that I have not seen at anywhere else in Thailand, uh, in Chiang Mai. So definitely go to Maya Mall. It's very helpful. When you go there, it's kind of comforting, you know, because it's kind of modern, uh, a lot of English signs, and, you know, it's very comforting. So number six, two more guys, come on. Number six is uh, food in terms of restaurants. There's tons of restaurants. You're never, ever, even in, and nowhere in Thailand, you're never going to uh, have difficulty finding food. I recommend Free Bird Cafe. I recommend Vegan Heaven. I recommend Amrita Garden. Those are my three vegan food restaurants that I go to on like a weekly basis. Um, really great people, amazing food, great menu. And uh, also the food trucks, they're everywhere here. Of course, you know, be careful with some food that you have in Thailand. Use your common sense, what feels right, what feels not right. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the next thing that I want to touch on is number seven. The last one is your visa, which is super important. I got to get this in before my battery dies. I'm probably going to make a whole video about this. Also, I'll touch base on it just for a second to answer a few questions. When you come here, uh, no matter where you came from, you're probably going to have about 30 days or 60 days when you get here. There's a place called Promenada. I'll have to write that down in the description. There's a place called Promenada. That's where we do all the visa, all the immigration stuff down there. There's a Chinese immigration office here. So if you want to go to China, it's very easy. You can do that here. I've done it. You can also get an ED visa. If you want to take Thai classes, um, I did it. I paid for a six-month ED course. I'm going to go in depth with that in a future video. It's not enough time to talk about all these topics. We hit, we touch base on a lot of great stuff today. So everyone that's asking me the questions about, you know, life in Thailand, teaching English in Thailand, teaching English on Palfish, hopefully I kind of combined a whole lot of stuff and was able to um, dish that out to you guys out there on the YouTube channels. And uh, wow, the subscribers, thank you. Please subscribe, hit the subscription button. Um, this video, I'm, you know, this channel is here to help you guys and to become better teachers on Palfish, but also to become more knowledgeable and be aware of the opportunities and the choices that you have and everything. Okay, so subscribe below, give this video a thumbs up, 
If you have any questions at all, feel free. Don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. And um, keep living the dream. You know, I never knew that I would be like out here, but I'm here. So you never know where life can take you. Stay open, stay open, stay open, and be creative. Wow, you know, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video, I'm going to probably talk about the visa and everything you need to know about the ED visa. So, um, again, if you have any specific questions, let me know. Subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.